Hey guys, it's TechBlazer, and today I'm going to be showing you a video that I think all Apple device users are going to like. Now, a while back, I did a video on how to get an alternative account for an Android device, and now I'm showing you it for Apple. I probably am going to leave some stuff out, so I apologize. Just drop a comment below, and I will answer it. I guarantee it. It might take a week to get answered because my iPod's stupid and will not give me the notification, but I will answer it, I guarantee. So, that's just saying it as of now, when I only have under 100 subscribers, which I probably will stay under 100 subscribers for a while because I am being so inactive with this count. I apologize, I have my first college course, I am a high school student balancing college class, this YouTube channel, Robotics, and my the rest of my stupid problems in life so let's get right into it first off you're going to need a few things one a device an apple device correction that is either never going to use clash of clans like you can use a friend's phone that really hates clash of clans and you can just use it to make the alternative count because apple has a stupid policy thingy algorithm majig that will automatically save your Clash of Clans account on it when you start it and pass the tutorial. It's really stupid. Apple, you need to fix that, honestly. It's so hard to make an alternative account that way. Following up through that, you are going to need a new iTunes account, which is also going to be Game Center. So, this is also a video how to switch back and forth accounts, like you have an iPad, let's say, and an iPhone, and you have one account on your iPad and one account on your iPhone, I will show you how to switch those accounts back and forth. Um, the main thing why you are going to need a new Apple device or a friend's device that you're going to trust to not mess up your account is because of that policy that Apple has, it's going to be staying on that device for who knows long. Or you can completely reset your iPod like I did because you really want an alternative account. But let me tell you, back it up to iTunes. I am screen recording through X Mirage and that's through my iPod onto the PC screen. So you're going to see like blue stacks in the corner. Um, I'll show you that. Hold up. I got to move my mouse. Um, blue stacks over here and um, all this other junk in the background. Anyways, I'm going to be going into settings and let's say you have your alternative account all set up you're good you set it up with game center now how do you get it back on your main device after you deleted clash clans from that device that you used for an alternative account maker you go into settings and game center you can also do this directly through game center i just find it easier going through settings and you're going to push game center and you're going to log out of your account now you're going to log in with your new game center device itunes account whatever you call it to do this free without a credit card i guess i should have said that if you go into settings icloud and then delete account you're not deleting your account exactly but it's just off your device then you're going to be asked to sign in or create a new iCloud account or whatever, you're going to click that and just create a new iCloud account and you won't need a credit card or anything for the teenagers like me who do not use a credit card or your parents do not trust you with a credit card. So after that, you just sign into your account. Okay, so you're signed into your account and all you have to do is go back to Clash of Clans over here and you're going to be asked, well, um, one second, let me move that. Um, this is blurry. You're going to be asked this prompt and you're just going to click confirm and then in all type caps type confirm and then okay and it's going to load your village don't worry it is still set your village is saved because you are on a multiplayer server um this is my alternative account as everybody knows tech blazer i double run it with my friend because he helps it stay more active and stuff um yeah so let's say you can switch it back and forth and whatnot. Let's say you want to get back to your other account. Easy enough, you do it. You go onto the same way you got into it, and you're switching it back. So I will show you that now. Okay, so we're going back into this. And you're going to be prompted again after this Game Center thing pops up. You cannot do this through Facebook, by the way, because Facebook just links to whatever account you're on, and it will not save it. Okay, so I'm confirming and going into this. If you happen to misclick this button, you just completely close out of Clash, clear the history, and go back into it, and then that window will pop up again, um, and you are set to go. It might have this freak out moment that, oh my gosh, what do I do now? It's going to be synced to the other account. Clash of Clans will not sync an account 
as long as you are past Town Hall 6, I believe, or 5, something like that. And you will be able to save an account. Since this is a multiplayer server, no account ever created is going to be deleted. It might be hidden for a while or whatnot, but it is never truly deleted because of the multiplayer sa ser server. I apologize for my s speech. All right. I hope you guys like this video. I am really bad at talking currently. I apologize and hopefully this was helpful to you and that you will be able to have an alternative account. If you have any questions, which you probably will because I leave out a lot of stuff and I'm kind of stupid, drop them below and I will answer them for sure as long as I have probably under 100 subscribers. If you're watching this video from like three years from now, I may not respond as quickly, but I promise to people within the first three months of this video coming out i will answer your questions it might take me a week because my ipod's stupid and it will not give me the notification but i will answer it at some point thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time all right so i know i said this video is done but i'm gonna add on the wonders of using x mirage if you want to know more drop a comment below i will make a video on x mirage and whatnot is it will mirror the computer screen and that means it will turn this thingy majiggy into something really cool and you can see it like how the screen moves it's like a motion effect it's pretty cool um also i got an xbox one controller for my pc i am really bad at black ops with this and i will most likely not be doing any gameplay because i suck that badly on it but um yeah if i get any better maybe i'll do some black ops gaming i cannot play GTA on the computer with this either because I don't even know how to do the setup like it won't let me customize it I don't even know why but um maybe at some point I will be doing something more than GTA oh my gosh I'll be doing something more than Clash of Clans maybe I'll do GTA or Call of Duty that or you can watch my fail attempts on Minecraft yet again and apparently you cannot, this does not, it's not compatible with Minecraft, which really sucks. But I'm just having fun watching this, um, screen move back and forth. Um, yeah, it's a little bit laggy, so that makes it even better. Um, okay, I'm done now, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.